2020 has certainly been quite the year for many reasons. Who remembers about nine months ago when we all thought the historic Indiana Beach Amusement Park would be closed forever? Miraculously, it lived on as Gene Staples, a businessman from Chicago, bought the park in April. It was announced and now we have quite the bombshell which has been dropped I know all of you have heard about this by now, and that is, of course, that Indiana Beach is going to be receiving a new roller coaster for 2021. Not just any roller coaster, a Schwarzkopf triple looping coaster. Of course, these are pretty rare rides, and this is going to be none other than Chimera from La Feria in Mexico City. I'm sure many of you know Chimera for the horrible accident that took place a little over a year ago, which unfortunately did kill two people after the train derailed. This accident was very similar to the Mindbender accident that happened in the 80s at Galaxyland. Chimera's accident was caused by negligence. This ride had not been maintained properly at all. They didn't use any of the trim brakes installed on the ride. It just did not run as it was operated. This ride was not well maintained there, and Indiana Beach is going to have a lot of work to do to get the ride up to code in order to operate it for 2021. So they have a lot of work ahead of them. As far as I understand, from what I've heard, there is some damage to the structure and the trains. I wouldn't be surprised if they get like new trains by Gerslauer or something like that. I know Gerslauer made brand new trains for Super Duper Looper at Hershey Park. They look great. And I absolutely wouldn't be surprised to see something like that happening here. So this is huge for Indiana Beach. Like I said, nine months ago, we thought we were going to lose this park to history. It was just going to be gone, which it would have been a tragic loss. It miraculously came back, and it seems like, in a way, the announcement of its closure is sort of maybe the best thing that could have happened for this park now that we see the care that's being put into it. I mean, the park opened back up in June to great fanfare. Everything looked great by all accounts. And now we are getting this brand new coaster, a very highly acclaimed coaster by enthusiasts, certainly one that I've wanted to get on for quite some time. I never thought I would see the day where this would be operating in the United States. I mean, much like Indiana Beach, we all thought Chimera was done for. We thought this was going to be history. So this is just a perfect fit for Indiana Beach. It's just another story of rising up out of the ashes. It's, it's just great. I mean, this is the best thing for the park. This is going to be a huge ride for Indiana Beach. It's going to be their largest coaster. It's only 111 feet tall. But for Indiana Beach, that's huge. And based on this ride's reputation, this is one of the most intense coasters out there. Granted, it's not going to be running quite as intense as it did at La Feria. If any of you are not familiar with Chimera, like I said, it's a triple looping Schwarzkopf coaster. It was originally on the German fair circuit, and then it operated at a few parks over the years. Flamingo Land, where it operated as Magnum Force. La Feria as Chimera, of course. A park called Sunway Lagoon for a few years in the late 90s. And now it's going to Indiana Beach. When I first heard about this, I was like, this can't be realized. Like, this has to be just some sort of, you know, far out speculation or something like that. But I very quickly found out that wasn't the case. This was actually announced by the park shortly after it was confirmed that it was indeed going to be Chimera specifically. And we just really couldn't ask for a better addition for the park, especially for 2021. I mean, I did not think that Indiana Beach would be getting anything nearly as big as this anytime soon, especially given the state of the world right now. It was already a park I really wanted to get to, but it has shot way up on my bucket list, as I'm sure it has for all of you as well, especially if you haven't ridden Chimera. Chimera is very similar to the aforementioned Mindbender at Galaxyland, uh, which, strangely enough, Chimera and Mindbender both had very, very similar fatal accidents, unfortunately. These two rides are actually quite similar. They're both triple loopers by Schwarzkopf, both extremely intense rides. The layout is pretty much the same, from what I can tell. It's basically the same layout. Chimera is a little bit smaller than Mindbender. It's a little bit shorter, not quite as fast, but basically the same layout. 
essentially the same ride. There's not really much else I have to add to this other than I just can't believe this. I mean, this is phenomenal. I really can't wait to get to Indiana Beach and experience this amazing looking ride. I know that they're going to put a lot of hard work into this and really make it into the safe ride that it's supposed to be. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Let me know your thoughts on this. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can tell what a lot of the thoughts are going to be on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.